welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori and I have a Dollar Tree haul for you tonight. I say tonight because it's 5.52. I just got home from work. Mm. I stopped at the Dollar Tree because I needed some stuff for work in a couple of days. So we're going to do a multi-parter. So right now we're on part one because I need this, some of this stuff for work. But I want to show you what I painted. We call him Wolbert. I went to a stitchy night. I saw one of you there and I'm sorry, I forgot your name. I'm a terrible human being and I'm very sorry. Um, yeah, we painted this in the middle of a yarn store. Like what's better than that? But that's my Wolbert. I love him. So we painted that and it was a lot of fun. If you ever get an opportunity to go out and do like one of those painting things, I highly recommend. Okay, so first and foremost, I found these and they're fantastic. Look how big they are compared to the Dollar Tree, the normal Dollar Tree ones. They're not as thick, which I'm okay with, but they're definitely bigger. So I got a couple spring colors. Here, we'll hide the cat head. Um, I got a couple spring colors. I use these all the time. And I kind of ruin them with my coffee. And so, yes, I can wash them. And I do, but they sometimes will separate if you wash them too much. And I also hand wash some dishes. So, I never have not a need for those. Now, um, I'll show you all the stuff I need for work. But I found these cheap ponchos. So, when I go to Ireland, I just need to be prepared for any weather. I have a rain jacket. But just in case it gets a little more than my rain jacket can handle, I want some disposable. So I just grabbed two disposable ponchos. It says one size fits all. They're durable, waterproof. I mean, we know they're just lightweight plastic, but if it helps keep me a little dry and for $1.25, and I can just throw them in my backpack and in my luggage. So I got those. Um, oh, this was in the plus section. It was $5. Look at the size of this planter. And the bottom, I think, comes off. Yeah, the bottom will come off. But you don't have to because when you water it, it goes, or you can water from the bottom. But it's nice and big. It's pretty sturdy for $5. And this is going to be perfect on my front porch. So I saw these and I was like, well, you better grab them. So they do come in a terracotta, a light gray, a dark gray, and this black. The black is at the bottom of the stack. I had to dig for it, I'm not lying, but this will go good on my front porch because I'm painting my front porch black in the spring. I'm painting my front door black, I should say, in the spring. So, okay, now the rest of this stuff is for me to take to work for my leap day party on Thursday. Today is Tuesday. I'm just getting home. Tomorrow I have to make my brookies and I work tomorrow night at women's basketball. So today is the day I had to stop to get the stuff and I won't make my the rest of my Dollar Tree's video till later, but I'll show you. They have a great selection of Haribo. So I got this uh, what is this one? Fantastic mix. And it has just all different gummies. So my plan is I have a Starbucks cup, a, a cold one that with a straw and it changes colors. And I got a $5 gift card for the Starbucks or the cafeteria at my work. They have a Starbucks in the cafeteria, but it'll buy a drink. And then I'm going to put a candy in the bag with it. So I got one of these fantastic mix. I got peaches. I got watermelon, and they're nice and soft too, which is great. And then I got cola. I just wanted to get a variety. So I'm gonna do four, four of the gifts or prizes will be these things. And just so you know, my, my people help me pay for this, the other managers on my team. So we have that. And oh, I got this little slime kit to go with the other slime I already purchased as a little fun prize. I figure if any, a couple of my people have children, so why not, right? Um, and then I got treat bags to put some of the stuff in, because I have a bunch of different stuff. And it's all just fun little things, nothing of any, they're not new cars, you know, but my team likes it. So some gift from fun bags and then some bigger bags. 
next. If I can remember to take pictures of everything when I'm show when I set it all up, because what I'm gonna do is um, package everything how I want it, depending on how many people are there. So I have a lot of variety of things, and then I have things that are already packaged together. We don't have to be in the office every day, so I don't know how many people are going to show up on Thursday. I ask, but I never really get a straight answer. So if there's 10 people, I will have 10 things set out. If there's 12, I will have 12. If there's nine, I'll have nine. So everybody will get to pick something. Um, and then the leftovers just stay in my life-altering prize basket for another day. Or they get to pick twice, depending on how many people show up. So this stuff has to go to work with me on... Thursday morning along with this slime which I think is super fun because you have the beads and then the two little slimes and you can mix it all together so it's like your own little kit I thought it was cool and then they had slime with like pink and green I think all right so that is it for phase one I'll be back after I go to the Dollar Tree for my normal weekly haul I'll be back Hey everyone, I'm back for part two of my Dollar Tree haul, but I wanted to pop in and show you what I did with these Dollar Tree. These are the white um, eggs, the stacking eggs. And I took this gold leaf, it's called Rub and Buff. This is definitely not from the Dollar Tree. I got that at Joanna Michaels or something. And I just buffed it over the white. So I would have like a little, a little gold to my pumpkins, and my pumpkins, to my eggs, because I want to make, I think I'm going to go with cream, white, and gold for Easter this year. And I'm not doing anything else to them, maybe a bow, I doubt it. They'll just sit in front of my fireplace. So I wanted to show you that, because I always forget to show you what I do with the stuff I buy. But I do stuff with it. I have a pump, I have a fall cup gonna put that away okay so the rest of this will play into that so I grabbed and I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with any of these but these are nice and big gold eggs so I grabbed a four pack one pack of that size a six pack of this size and these are all just gold plain gold empty eggs I'm not gonna fill them but and then I got one giant it's a three dollar egg i feel like the veruca salt i want the golden ticket but i think this is actually going in my dining room up on my hutch so i'm trying to open this up so i can show you what it will look like put together now they are a little rough as far as there's some scratches and stuff but it doesn't bother me because i um i just don't mind but I want to show you. And I kind of want to see for myself too and hope that the bottom of this egg is also gold. And it is. Oh, and it comes even a little bit of plastic on the bottom egg, which is nice. On the bottom half of the egg. The other ones I, I purchased, um, the front was clear and just the back was gold and they're okay but I wanted something a little more these are very floppy but oh, I got it together isn't that awesome and I just want to I'll wipe it down I may buff it with some black or something and make it look old and tarnishy but isn't that great I'm going to sit this up on a counter so you won't see it. And I'll put some Easter bunnies in front of it. But so my goal, I'm halfway there with just Dollar Tree stuff. Look, I'm trying to keep my mess to a minimum down here. I'm cleaning this weekend. I did not work any of my part-time job. Okay. And then I picked up some very exciting toilet drops. Now, I'm not putting these in the back of my toilet where all the mechanisms are. I have four toilets in my house, and I am not trying to brag. I'm just telling you I got four toilets, and I use two of them. So I'm going to put these in the bowl, not in the back, but in the bowl just to keep them clean. So I got two for the two toilets I don't ever use. 
And then for the two toilets I do use, I just got some, these that just hang on the side when you flush. I'm not putting anything in the back because I know that can ruin the plastic and stuff back there. And then we all know I have a trip coming up. I have a thought with these. So I just got the one. Let me see if I can open it. I also went out today and bought all kinds of planters. It's the season where I need to start thinking about repotting my plants. So this, which is kind of large, but I want to see if it'll work. So it's an, it, you suck the air out here with your vacuum cleaner. But have you ever seen the ones that you roll up? I'm wondering if I take this off and I put some stuff in it and I roll it, will it push the air out here, not let it back in, and then I can seal it? And so like for packing purposes, because... The thing is with these, they're great if I'm storing linens and towels and sheets and all that. Perfectly fine. Clothing, off-season clothing, these are great for seasonal stuff. Great. But if I go to a hotel and I unpack it and I break the seal, I don't have a vacuum with me. Now, I know they sell them on Amazon and I'm thinking about it, but if I could get away with just squeezing the air out... That might be better. So we're gonna try. I don't know if it'll work or not. It was an idea. If not, I will probably use this for all of my seasonal dish towels and linens for our Christmas and stuff. Because it was $1.25. I found these, I've been, I wake up in the morning with bags under my eyes. So I'm gonna try these. I have eye drops that I use that are $70. Now, granted, one tube has lasted me almost six months. So I'm not mad about that, but if this is a dupe for something good, so this one is peptide hyaluronic and squalane, and this one's vitamin C, niacinamide, AHAs, and vitamin E. Maybe one at night, one in the morning, I don't know. They're under eye creams. But whatever it is, I got to get these bags tightened up. So we're going to try it. I mean, it can't, I mean, I guess it could hurt me, but let's hope it doesn't. Let's chart there. So I got those to try because they were there. And then I just got a few other little things. Um, I'm kind of excited for this. Canada Dry. So if you did not know, tonic water has sugar in it. And so for me, I like a gin and tonic, but I can't have it because tonic has sugar in it. Here is zero sugar Canada Dry Tonic. I don't have any gin in the house, but I got vodka. So I might do a vodka and tonic with a little lime and see what that does. Um, yeah, there's no water, which is nice. Although, wouldn't that just be soda water? I don't know, but it's zero sugar tonic water. Maybe it's a gimmick. I don't know. But I saw it and I was like, well, wait a minute. I want to try that. Um, just some more sugar-free candy. I got, I'm starting to load up on my drink mixes. And mostly these green apple because after a summer starts and all the YouTubers and the TikTokers start making their fancy drinks, I can never find the green apple. So I think I have enough green apple now for the summer. I got two more. And then this was new to me. It's a limeade, Sonic's limeade. So I just grabbed, I do this all summer long and then I take some to work with me as well because it helps me, helps me drink the water. Um, I grabbed two more of these. I ate four of the ones I already had. And I decided I don't really like the Mediterranean, but I do love the lemon pepper. And I love the salt and pepper. And the garlic isn't bad. But these, what I'll do is mix up two packs and I'll get like two sandwiches out of it. So I grabbed two more. And as I've said before, they may not be the best deal at the Dollar Tree because I think they're like a dollar at Kroger, but I was there. And then I grabbed a mixing bowl. I am making a salad and I'm gonna make a video of it here in a little bit. I've already started chopping up the ingredients, but it's called a hoagie in a bowl or an Italian sub, a grinder, whatever you call them. But it's all the stuff without um, the bun basically and dressing. So I grabbed this because I don't really have a container this size i've been getting rid of these and going with glass but um i haven't found a glass this size yet or i haven't picked up a glass this size and i needed something to store the salad in so 
there it is. Um, yeah, so that is everything I got today at the Dollar Tree. You have already seen what I got the other day at the Dollar Tree. And now I'm going to go make something to eat and relax. It's Saturday and I'm not working anywhere this weekend. Minus this video. That's all I'm doing. I'm not working anywhere. Um, no, I'm not doing it. I did go to Walmart. I picked up a cute dress for my Ireland trip this summer. Um, for those of you who haven't been, the weather's just going to be different than it is here. And so it's going to be all about the layers. So my thought is a nice summery kind of springy dress. It's a denim -y fabric with leggings and a cardigan. And then if I get warm, peel the cardigan, put it back on. If I get cold, take the leg. Like there's options. Nobody cares what I'm wearing, but I thought it was exciting. I found a cute dress for 20 bucks at Walmart's. All right, guys, that is everything. I'm going to get myself moving here and I will talk with you later.